It has been a few moments since we last did a little office vlog for you guys, which means that a lot of things have changed and a lot of people have been asking about it in our daily live streams, which you should totally check out at the link in the video description, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. We stream every day on Twitch, hot news live. Anyways, people were asking, that last vlog you did, it, everything was weird and open. Well, now we're gonna show you. Callan's not dead, so that's starter number one. I'm and alive. Reese is behind the camera, so that's number two. Reese is still alive. And we have Displates, which is today's video sponsor. Hey, displate.com forward slash UFD tech official into coupon code UFD to save 15% on your displates. They're amazing. Dope metal prints that mount and that Catlin doesn't put up correctly. And then you have to make sure <laughs> that it doesn't go skew, but it's so easy because it's on a magnet and then bam. Let's go ahead and start in the hot news room because we haven't really changed much there. So this room actually hasn't changed all that much. We have the not who sign completely hung up, which we did get fixed. We actually have a proper hot news sign with the correct coloring on the correct. You good? <laughs> no, apparently it's stuck in the door. It has the correct coloring on the, oh my gosh, on the correct letters. The issue was that, uh, I guess when they send us the new one, they decided to include a switch and it's burnt out in here. And all I need to do is spend like, 35 seconds, cut the wires, splice them together, wrap it up with electrical tape, and then it'd be good to go, and we could have a hot new sign. But honestly, I think I've just grown accustomed to the not who sign, and I'll find another way to utilize this somewhere else. But so far, it's just been sitting behind our thing over here, which is like our iFixit station, as well as like drawers full of storage, and drawers full of RAM, and drawers full of displayed accessories. So. This room is primarily only exclusively used for hot news. I sit down here, we turn on the camera there, and then I deliver you hot news with existential questions, and then the rest of the room is storage. We have obviously the new set design with the matte black globe, which I love, and then we have lamps, and then we also have a fireplace, which just sits on its fireplace box. And we light it all up with this Aperture 120D and light dome. And then we also have the Hive Wasp 100 as a hair light, which we just turn on and it illuminates the back of my head. That's it. That's kind of the, the gist of this room. This closet over here is all of our storage, which has gotten neater because we've pulled stuff out, but also gotten messier because I don't put things back away when I'm done. So here's our stuff. Lots of boxes. Lots of boxes. Mostly we, we come in here like once, every two weeks and that's that's basically it so hot newsroom very simple not a whole lot going on and i'm sure a lot of you are asking why i'm wearing glasses because i don't typically wear glasses i get headaches at the end of the day so i'm wearing blue light filtering glasses and i'm trying to get this company to sponsor me but you know what they haven't responded to our emails yet but i love them they make they make it so i go home happy to my family have you seen an actual difference 100 percent. i actually don't go home with a headache anymore like mm -hmm. it, it's worked phenomenally for me you're not just staring at screens all day, you're staring into lights. Lights and screens. Okay, let's go check out everything else where the big improvements have happened, which is over here. Catlin has a smile. That's improvement number one. Catlin, show everybody your radiant joy. She's happy and not just doing it because she's on camera. Blink if you're in trouble. <laughs> so my station has remained mostly the same. I've got stuff that I'm kind of working on. I have a glass. We put up my disc plates. I love them. They're mounted. And we just kind of have projects that I'm working on assorted here. We have the uh, ultimate water cooling build that I'm doing for myself. I'll finish that sometime soon. We have the NZXT H1 just exposed here. But we've been doing live streams every day and we built a new set for that. And a lot of you have been helping to try to make it so that we can get Catlin a microphone, and we've done some changes to make it so that we can do that. So come over here. Normally, you guys see this if you watch our streams. It's right here. My desk is over there, but I'm standing right here. And this, this is the set. This is the streaming set, I guess, and also kind of anything that I need to build on. We have a workbench, Reese, if you wanna come over, we can show them the workbench that we have. This is a height adjustable workbench, uh, but it's a manual height adjustment. So we, anytime we wanna adjust it, we have to take this thing out. Which and is not often. Yeah, it's not very often. We lock the wheels, everything's set there. 
and then we just we stream with this. I can build a PC on this. It's a workbench. Any tools that I need stay down here, which it's kind of a mess right now because I'm working on that water cooling build. But we've got so many cool little knickknacks and background pieces on this set that I kind of just want to go through each of them. And also, I'm sure you guys have noticed we've got sound blankets. So this is a latest addition to it is blocking off our sound so that when Catlin finally does get a mic, the microphone that we have facing over us isn't going to pick her up at all. It's just gonna be her on her own and then we can talk and respond to her, but you guys, when you're watching us, won't be picked up. So the sound blanket helps with that. This one, since it has white on this side, bounces and gives us a nice little glow on our face, which is great. Oh, and I guess before we get to the background of everything, I can show you the streaming setup that we have, which my laptop, tons of cables on the floor everywhere. We have a 200 foot ethernet cable for some reason. Uh, and it only needs to go about There's eight. There's a buster sword on that. There is. It's a buster fusion sword. Excuse you. Uh, we only needed to go about eight feet, but we have a 200 foot cable. So there's that. So this is where Catlin sits during the stream, which is just like right next to her other desk. And we have the 3950X 50, 2080 Super in this. This is the Minecraft stop motion PC build that she did. And it's, it's just, it's what she does. We have the Stream Deck from Elgato, the XL version. Currently we just have the Go XLR Mini, but that only has one XLR input. We need two for Catlin to talk. And then it's just kind of her command center. She sits here, she doesn't engage because she doesn't have a microphone and we like it that way. Yeah. It's the rest of the audience that wants you to talk. I don't know what you're asking for. And then we also have a monitor. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to. I'm not that mean to you, am I? What? I, it's more of a. It's more of a characterization. People always comment that I'm horrible to you guys, but it's always just an act. But it's a joke. I, is it? Is it? Or are you actually in trouble? No, it's a joke. For reals. For real. For real it's but a joke. I'm actually. In <laughs> oh, perfect. We have a duplicated monitor on the backside of hers so that we can see everything that's going on in the stream. We can see like alerts that pop up and everything that happens with Hot News Live. But now let's go through all the little knickknacks that we have on the shelves for the streaming setup. We have a little globe, which is amazing. We had Zed on top of the globe, but he would never stay if we hot glued him or taped him down. He just falls off the globe eventually. So it's just a globe. Then we got a Tonberry lamp, which is broken. I spent money to bring this here from Japan and it doesn't light up. So it's just a Tonberry. We found a golden pineapple at Walmart. I, Catlin really loved it, so it's on the set. And then we got this 3D printed Aku Aku mask from Crash Bandicoot off of Etsy, which I, I have decided to put into this random sphere thing that we also picked up, I think, from Walmart, and he just doesn't wanna, are you gonna slide He's out the stuck. bottom? He's stuck, I shouldn't have touched him. He's mad at me. Okay, everybody knows what a Kua Kua is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it, so. No. Oh, just, okay, he's done. Then we have our little uh, glass head, which we got to show off headphones, which we've had sponsorships from Drop, but then also the Persona mask, which came with my Persona 5 Royal Phantom Thieves edition, so he, is our prop glass head, which I can firmly put my fist into. Delicious. Oh, yeah, we have to show off all of this. So on Tuesdays, we do cat's crafts and we make little crafts. This is my abomination, but we have several more that I can show you later. This is my Arsene Pop. This is Shenron with his seven Dragon Balls. Technically, he has 14 Dragon Balls because this little stand right here has many Dragon Balls. <laughs> I didn't, I thought they were glued in. No. Okay, so he has 14 Dragon Balls that he's protecting. He's lost at least two now. Then we have a shredder. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. A cheese grater shredder. I this love is it. This the best like dad pun. I love it so much. Then we also got a Vegeta because can't can't rep without the best Dragon Ball Z character. Facts. Dragon Ball Super because he's Super Saiyan God. And we've got another Persona Pop, which I got from a GameStop exclusive thing. That's also where I got the Arsene thing. Then we have a workable Fix-It Felix Jr. arcade, mini arcade thing. The rest of the shelves are just empty because we don't keep anything there. It's kind of the same with this TV stand that we've got going on here. All of the shelving for the TV stand uh, keeps random accessories that we have and then we use the tv to just put whatever random video we want on for the stream over here we have more things this is ferdinand the fox fuggler is what these are officially known as ugly little things 
with teeth. It's Take weird. Teeth, boy. Kratos pop. Then these are also parts of Cat's crafts. Uh, we had to make clay pane, and this is Catlin's. Mm. Highly disturbing. You have to wonder what's going on with her and how she is. This is Reese's right here. And then it's also just an alpaca. And we thought Kratos would fit with the alpaca very nicely. It does. Then we have a little Vegeta in a glass ball, which is very heavy. It's supposed to have the light, but the battery died. But can you see the Vegeta in this? This is Turn beautiful. Turn him around, it's cool. It's so cool. He's in the glass. We also have a Mewtwo one. I just haven't figured out a way to do it. We have a calendar, which everybody always tells us we're wrong, but it's 420, so it's not wrong. Then we got a Nazgul and the Wraith King. Got a cactuar lamp as well. This one does work, but the batteries are burnt out. We have a 3D printed Vader skull helmet. We've got Geralt versus the... Leshen. Leshen, that's what it is. Got Sora on a 5700 XT, which is just a shroud. There's no card actually in here. And then we have a little ghosty from Destiny 2. And then we have our disc plates, which go on the wall and we swap out every single day. So today was Thursday, Reese's Corner. So we have the like vintage game. What? Don't step on the sword, dude. So we've got this, but then uh, tomorrow is Friday variety. So we just choose whichever disc plate. Typically on Friday, we go with Handsome Squidward. So handsome. And now the next stage of designing the uh, set is how to mount our Final Fantasy props. So we got a gun blade. This obviously is not a working gun. It would never make sense to work that way, but we want to mount it on the wall. We just have to actually figure out how and when we're gonna do this, but having a gun blade here, but then also that Buster Fusion Sword that was on the ground earlier, that's kind of why it's on the ground because there's like no real way to hang it up as of yet so buster fusion sword and then it also has like these two extra swords that go on the side and so we have five swords technically and one gun blade well four swords and a gun blade which is pretty dope and then this is my view for the stream this is what i see when i stream we have the rgb hdmi cable that we did a video on connected to the monitor so we have everything for people to see and do the stream, but you can't see because the light's on. So let me turn on off the light. This is this is what we look at uh, every day. There's a Catlin too. Uh, and we don't see her because she's behind the sound blanket. This is actually, I want to give a shout out to DSLR Video Shooter because he gave me the idea for setting everything up on a movable stand. We just have the light on this. We have the camera all together. So that's one stand. If we ever need to move it around, we can do that easily. Everything's on a clamp and our microphone and everything is on a C stand that side. So we keep everything that way. But things aren't cleaner than they were before. They're just more purpose. Obviously we had just like a desk in here last time and now it's yeah, cluttered. <laughs> it was cluttered, but now it's cluttered but for good reason, because we actually use the space now. But we have, we have to do a few updates on things that we did in the last vlog. Number one, we have to show you the Reese's stuff and how much is left. So let's go over to the freezer where we had a lot of stuff. First off, this is where other cat's crafts happen. So we've drawn beautiful things. We also had to paint starter Pokemon. Guess which one's mine? It's that one. I'm terrible at this oh, stuff. So and then we also had to make fridge magnets, which we did. So, which, why aren't we using the fridge magnets to hold up the people? That would make more sense. So, if we look into the freezer, there is no Reese's ice cream left. Zero. It's only been less, it's been like, what, two months? Two months and it's all gone? Reese, let's go do an inventory on how many Reese's you have in your room. Where's the Reese's stuff? It was in here, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, it still looks pretty full. That's empty. There's wrappers in Reese. Yep. Reese. Oh my, oh my, there's a bear. You're not using this big mug? I've been using the other big mug. Use this one for soup. <laughs> I don't have soup. Oh man, so it looks like you've eaten a sizable portion and you just also decided to not throw out a sizable portion as well. Basically, that's when he said inventory, I was like, ha, good luck. Oh wow, okay. Well, a, a good chunk. You've eaten a good chunk of Reese's. There's still so much left though. Hey, hey guys, that's my room, that's my... Reese lives here. Reese lives here. Hey. He's not trapped. Tell the nice people, Reese. I'm not trapped. Reese, what do you want to say to the people? We need more games. I don't know. Hi, people. What do you want to say to the people, Catelyn? Thanks for all the support and stuff. 
You heard it here first. Thanks for all the support and stuff. Don't forget to check out today's video sponsor, Display Dope metal prints that you mount to your wall with magnets. We use them on our streaming set all the flipping time. We use them for Handsome Squidward. So beautiful. Check them out at the link below. Coupon code UFT to save 15% and you could have an amazing setup like we do. So maybe check that out, okay? That's gonna be the end of this vlog. Let us know if there's anything you want specific answers about and we can maybe think about doing a Q&A. Okay, bye.